Hello guys, here with a new video for the channel. I hope you like it, and if you like it, don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment, and subscribe. Now without further ado, get comfortable. Let's begin. The incredible power that Kakra was giving off was unreal, because everything around him was starting to shake, and even it made Daishenkin panic. Wh what is this? It's impossible! How does this Saiyan body able to withstand all the brutal power? Its essence reminds me of the power that Yamoshi used to release. Kakarot of a loud roar would shake all the 12 universes, was able to calm all his power while physically nothing had changed. Since he was still in the transformation of the primal Super Saiyan, but the power to differentiate was an unreal thing. Since with all that power, he was able to even defeat Daishenkin with just one of his hands. His power is amazing! But I have to completely master it. The essence of the divine god Yamoshi is crushing it. Dear Kakrot, is it really you? Has nothing changed in you? Of course not, Wiss. I'm still the same. I came to your planet, and you collected teaching me everything I know so far. I consider you my father. Kakrot, the future of all of us is in your hands. Because if you're not able to defeat these warriors, nothing and no one will be able to achieve it. You're right, Wiss. But I alone will not be able to defeat them. I need the help of my master and the first Saiyan God. That's impossible. Are you referring to Yamoshi? That's right. Nothing's impossible. And with this power together with the protagonist God Zalma, I know we'll be able to achieve it. So let's do it. Kakarot would begin to channel a large part of all his power in the center of the universe, so at the moment, giving a great roar, he was able to open a space-time crack from which an incredible pressure was felt from within. So much was the pressure that he was even able to make everyone present kneel, including Daishenkin. What the hell is this? I'm not able to move, nor does Xenosama release all his pressure. Is he another king at all? Who has been able to open my dimension? That must be impossible for beings of such low power. It was me. I did it because I need your help to bring a super warrior to life. Because the super dragon balls don't have the necessary power. But you are a Saiyan. Who have you believed to invade my dimension? I don't care if you are accompanied by the angels and the priest. At this moment, I will finish with all of you. Zalma at a great speed would throw himself against Kakarot, but they were surprised since no one except Kakarot were able to see the blow. Kakarot, despite observing the fist of Zalma, was not fast enough to dodge it, so he would be able to send to fly to a planet and on impact would destroy completely. Inverted gravitation! Zalma would expel an inverted gravity from her own body, which would begin to attract Kakarot all the same. I'm not gonna stand by idly, mythical blow of the dragon. A great dragon, which expelled an incredible power, would be thrown towards Zama, which some difficulty was able to completely destroy it. Everyone present was surprised because the difference in powers was noticeable. This is a terrible idea. We should have never done it. The power of the creator of the Super Dragon Balls is on another level. Zama, as he approached Kakarot, all the planets were shaking. Kakarot, despite knowing that he had no choice, he stood up again and again, so at that moment, from a great attack, he was able to make him spit some blood. But the creator of the Super Dragon Balls, instead of getting upset, would give a big laugh. <laughs> How interesting this is. I don't remember the last time a guy was able to make me bleed. I only think Yamoshi had managed it. Yamoshi, he's my ancestor, and he's the only one I wish you to bring to life. Otherwise, everything will be destroyed. Kakarot, at that moment, he had used all his power for which he would fall out of combat, being held by Zalma, who would heal all his wounds. My good battle friend, Yamoshi, you would have started from there. I thought you were just another warrior who desired the power beyond a creator god. Zama would diminish all her protagonist essence, allowing all the warriors around her to be able to move. 
for which Daishaken would approach somewhat nervously. Great God who created the Super Dragon Balls. For me, it's the greatest privilege to have him in front of me. I hope you'll excuse any disrespect towards you. Don't worry. I had no idea that this Saiyan is a descendant of my good friend Yamoshi. He was the only one who was able to almost defeat me. Were you able to cope with the protagonist energy that you possess? That's right. Remember, priest, despite being born with great power, you will never have the level of learning of the Saiyans. And if a Saiyan strives every day to be better, he will be like Yamoshi, who is able to break all his limits. Daishenka would be very surprised by the words of his creator, but at the moment, Xenosama would appear along with both of his guardians, who in the same way were also very surprised to hear the exploits of the incredible Zama. Oh, mighty Zama! Tell us, what's the reason you visit our multiverse? To be exact, the Saiyan was the one who woke me up from the protagonist dimension. But don't worry, I understand what you're going through, so I will help you without problem. Meanwhile, in a very distant place, Megun, along with Kimaru, was very thoughtful because Megun, in the same way, had existed in the same time as the mighty Zama. Damn, this is getting more and more complicated. The power of that damn Zama is still as powerful as it was millions of years ago. But, my lord, do you think you have the necessary power to defeat that warrior? To be honest, I don't know, Kimuru. The power that Zama possesses is incredible. The only one who was able to face him was Yamoshi. I was on the verge of death in every fight he had against that unhappy. But, my lord, in that case, what shall we do? Don't worry, we have only to worry about that Saiyan, since Zama, being a protagonist, cannot intervene in the world of multiversal beings. Meanwhile, Kakarot would recover completely, so the instant he woke up, he would watch as all of his other friends, they were training together with Zama, even the king of all Xenosama. Kakarot would give a big smile, so at that instant, he would access the Ultra Instinct, joining the great training, but despite attacking them all at once, they were not able to make any scratches. Zama would end that training. He would begin to collect a large part of all his power. I, the Protagonist God, bring back to life the mighty god Yamoshi, the first legendary Primal Saiyan. So it was, at that instant, a great rumble would be felt all over the place, which would cause that everything around him be destroyed. All this power was perceived by Megun, who quickly recognized it. So this is that brat's plan. I swear I'll crush both scumbags. I don't care if I have to die. I'll end everything they love. But, my lord, if you die, we'll not be able to rule since you're the main king of this whole pathetic multiverse. I, Megun, the first demon king to reach the creator rank, I'll grant you the privilege that you, my faithful helper, are able to bring me to life. It's a very big responsibility, but I'll never fail you. Both supreme demons began to charge their maximum power, trying to attract the attention of the divine beings. But none of these would come to their call because Yamoshi realized that all this would be a trap. It's time, Kakarot. As the enemy apparently plans to use a cursed technique as the energy he releases is incredibly negative. I trust you, Master, because thanks to you, we'll be able to overcome anything that comes our way. This was how both Saiyans Primal God level were able to break their limits on each occasion, while both demons were not able to perform their task, for which Megun was furious. I don't mind exploding. I plan to end the whole divine world with an explosion of all my power, so I hope everyone's prepared. Megun began to collect an incredible power, which belonged to the souls of all the other warriors from hundreds of years ago. Which fell against Yamoshi's hands, Megun's power began to skyrocket, and Yamoshi would notice this. This is bad. The power of one of the demons was rising in an uncomprehensible way. It'd be better to do something right now before it's too late. I finally agree with you. I don't want those wretches to become more powerful when we can finish them off right this instant. Kakrot, please be careful. I know that your power compared to mine is like heaven and earth, but I will not stop worrying about you. You don't have to worry, Wiss. I promise to put an end to these garbage once and for all. Yamoshi along with Kakrot began to fly at incredible speeds, which distorted everything in their path. But in the same way, the power that Megun gave off was a really catastrophic thing turn the 12 universes upside down. Before reaching where Megun was, he would be stopped by a warrior who had the appearance of a mutated demon. Damn Saiyans, it's not time for you to be in this place, so right now we're thinking to finish with you. 
That demon, named Belion, launched himself against both Saiyans. But Yamoshi of a great tread would release a surprising pressure, of which he didn't allow Belion to be able to move freely. You're a simple servant, and I don't have time to spend with you, so I'll finish with you right this instant. Yamoshi, of a great attack, was able not to leave even Belion dust. Both great with their great journey, destroying the main entrance in which both of the most powerful demons were. I'll not allow them to interfere in the elevation of my king. I intend to give my life for the being to whom I owe everything I've learned. Kimuru began to raise his power in an extremely incredible way. So much was the increase in his power that he even caused several disasters where he was. Kakarot at the time would access the Ultra Instinct when he didn't feel a great power from Kimuru, but he would be very surprised to realize that the power he possessed was even capable of tripling, since Kimuru, realizing Kakarot's trust, was the one he first attacked. Kakarot, despite possessing the Ultra Institute, was not able to do anything against Kimuru, who had dealt him a powerful blow. Making him spit large amounts of blood, Yamoshi would try to land a punch on Kimuru, but his punch was stopped. I don't compare myself to the power of the uh, king that possesses, but thanks to the power of my brother's bastard, I'm able to stand up to you, so I'm not going to die in this place. The two began to exchange hundreds of blows while Kakarot was on the ground spitting out too much blood. Damn it! Yamoshi was right. Even though I have a great power, I don't have to trust myself. The blow he gave me was serious. Kakarot would hit several vital points of his entire body, with which he began to make his heart rhythm normalize. Kakarot, without trusting himself on this occasion, he would access the Super Primal Saiyan, which released an abysmal power. But he was surprised at the moment he agreed to the most powerful transformation and looked like a simple amp before the incredible aura of Megun. That miserable demons even absorbing the power of demons from various timelines. Kakarot would throw his most powerful attack, but he was shocked realizing that his power had not been able to do absolutely anything to him. Megun, after assimilating all that power, was able to teleport behind Kakarot, giving him a small blow on his neck, which with he managed to return to his base state. How easy it has been. Kimuru, I appreciate your loyalty. You can come to my side. Yamoshi, before Kimuru leaves, would try to end his life, but Megun would stand by him. I have said that Kimuru will be protected by me, so stay still. Megun released a little of his power, with which he was made the powerful god Yamoshi fall to his knees, which Furious would begin to release his legendary power, leaving everyone to accept surprised for Megun. What will happen next? Find out in the next chapter. Well guys, this is all for today's chapter. I hope you liked it and it was to your liking. Now don't forget to leave your powerful like Supreme God level, comment and subscribe. Now without further ado, see you in a new video. Until next time.